Hello and Happy New Year's everyone. I am so excited about this new year and I'm excited about this new series, How Brie Does It. Stay tuned and I will be showing you how to make a no-cost makeover to these bookshelves. See you soon. The new year is a time for most like to start anew and what a better way to do that than a room makeover but in this case a bookshelf makeover. Before I begin here is the before photo. It was okay but I wanted a change so I'm going to do a no cost makeover. I love no cost makeovers no money involved and you can achieve a new look from just reshuffling things you already have. Here is how to begin. Begin by clearing everything off the shelves. Doing this will give you the biggest impact than scooting things around and it would also give you the chance to look at and take stock of what you have. Okay so these are the things that I took off the bookshelf and here are the things that I actually walked around the home and just picked up pieces and think that it will be a great selection to use on the bookshelf and that's basically what you do you'd be surprised uh, what you find in that attic <laughs> It'll be Christmas all over again these over here I'll probably use this wood vase with the top I really like that clock back there and that book in I will reuse these empty boxes, I am going to do something with those and turn them into containers. These um, storage boxes here I purchased at Office Max last year. They were discontinuing the line and they were selling two for one. And I grabbed these because they were a great size. The things that's on top are things that I found in, in boxes in the attic. The stars here are Swarovski Crystal Candle Holders. And I love those. I forgot I even had them. The candle snuffer and this candle holder were Christmas gifts. And this um, lotion dispenser, I love this lotion dispenser. I can't find the other part of it. It's probably around in boxes somewhere. These are the pieces that I selected that I will be using in the bookshelf no cost makeover. Okay my friends, I have completed the makeover and I say I am loving this right now. Everything looks very nice. There may be some tweaking that I have to do here and there, but in the whole it turned out quite well. So let's take a look at what I've done. Okay, we're going to start on the top shelf on the right hand side where I have placed a nice vignette of some favorite items that I like. There's a Christmas card that my husband gave me this year that's sitting on top of the cleaning schedule. Um, there's also a clock that I put back on top of the bookcase. I did a DIY vase there and it's placed behind the clock and sitting on top of some horizontal books. In front of the books there is a crystal decor piece which is a crystal star from Swarovski and then Beside that is the crystal and wood vase that I added from another room. So that's create a nice little vignette on the right hand side. On the other side there is a frame that I replaced um, a gift bag. No, not a gift bag. It was an envelope that had my initial a birthday card was in it I have from a friend and she made that for me and I thought it was so pretty so I decided to put it in a frame is sitting on another set of books that's placed horizontally next to that is another crystal star that's inside of a stand and then those two boxes I decided to wrap those in a damaged design wrapping paper and labeled them organizational and home decor ideas and I decided I was going to put um, reference material or magazine clippings of uh, organization ideas and home decor that I would like to try out in the future so that concludes the top of the shelf now we move down to the bookshelf itself. It's divided into two. On the left hand side is the home management system and on the right is where I have all my YouTube items. We will start on the left. 
On the left hand side of the bookcase is everything I need to manage my home. Here on the top shelf you will see my meal planning system. There is the binder system that's in threes and then there is the actual meal plan um, book that I use for my grocery shopping and planning my meals. The second shelf holds my home management system. The general rule you wouldn't place all of your books when I say vertically uh, along a row like this. The tip is to actually break them up but since this is a system I decided to have these all together. And below that are those three storage boxes that I purchased last year that was on sale and I decided to put the first box um, magazine clippings and then the second and the third box would be my Christmas and Thanksgiving ideas and organization would go in there. So that concludes the bookshelf on the left hand side. The top shelf on the YouTube side of the bookshelf is where I store my cameras and my uh, reference material for YouTube. The cameras is corralled on a nice tray there that all together so I know where everything is at and on the other side of that shelf is where I hold my reference material for the videos that I will be showing you guys in the next three months so everything all my notes and script and things in that nature are held in these boxes I have the thank you cards up top with my business card and all of these is for YouTube related and that's on the first shelf. The second shelf is where I have a little small venue of my favorite things that I like. We have the tray that I received from a friend and I found out that this tray can be hung on the wall. There's hooks behind these tray and I was wondering if they still sell this. I'm going to ask her where she get this from so I can get another one. There is the candle snuffer and my candle sitting in my gorgeous Christmas gift, <laughs> my candle holder, and there is the uh, lotion dispenser and another crystal decor sitting in a stand. And also I framed a nice little saying that you are so much stronger than you think and I love this. And I framed it in a gorgeous silver frame to match the decor on the second shelf. Now the third shelf is where I have my reference material for all the things that I do on YouTube. I have that there just in case I need to uh, look at something to reference anything. And then I have uh, a box of tissue. So that is it for the right side of the bookshelf. Here are some tips I would suggest when styling your bookcase. Change out your picture frame with another photo. Mix book placements with horizontal and vertical placements. Use some natural or faux materials like plants, rocks, or potpourri. Corral items in a tray. Place small objects in front of books to create interest. And lastly, your decor doesn't have to be about books. Mix it up with baskets, boxes, artwork, sculptures, and your favorite quotes and phrases. This concludes this episode. I hope I've given you some ideas and tips and also inspired you to start anew this year with a no-cost makeover in your home. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Smooches!